everybody. This is a very short video explaining the difference between randomization and random sampling, two things that are often mixed up with one another. I'm Nahomi Ichino, the current EGAP trainings director and one of the authors of the Theory and Practice of Field Experiments, an introduction from the EGAP Learning Days. That's an online open access resource to learn about randomized field experiments or RCTs. First, let's start out with our population of interest. Each circle represents an individual unit in this population. Now let's randomly sample one half from our population. The selected units are marked in orange. Random doesn't mean that selection is haphazard, where you just go ahead and select units with no organized process. What we've done here is simple random sampling, where the units have the same probability of being selected. This probability doesn't have to be one half, and you can think of many situations like selecting 50 people out of a population of 500, just 10%, um, for your study. You can also do more complicated types of sampling, where there are many stages, like randomly sampling individuals within randomly selected cities, or the individual units have different probabilities of being selected into the sample. The resulting sample is this collection of orange dots. It is the set of units from the population that you've selected in this way. And if you repeat the random sampling procedure, you're very likely to end up with a different sample like we did. Now randomization, or the random assignment of treatment, takes the sample as given and focuses on the treatment itself. In this example, we're just going to use the random sample from the previous slide. Randomization, or the random assignment of treatment, is assigning the units in whatever sample we have, this could be generated by random sampling or not, to treatment conditions with known probability between 0 and 1. That known probability between 0 and 1 means that no unit is guaranteed to be in a particular treatment condition. In this particular example, we have two, two treatment conditions, treatment and control, and we set the probability to 1 half. The treated units are represented by gray triangles, and the control units are represented by blue circles. These all started out as orange circles, but you can have more treatment conditions and different probabilities. Finally, let's summarize the key points. Random sampling is about the selection of units from a given population with known probability. Remember that this probability of selection doesn't have to be the same for all the units. What random sampling does is that it allows us to extrapolate what we learn from the sample back to the original population. In other words, it gives us a really strong basis for a claim of external validity. Randomization, by contrast, is about the assignment of units to treatment conditions with known probability. And those units could be a random sample, but it could be any other kind of sample, however you got them. Remember again that the units don't have to have the same probability of being assigned to a particular treatment condition, though it'll make the analysis a lot easier if they do. And randomization, the randomization of treatment, is a strong basis for making claims about the effect of that treatment for our sample. In other words, it's a very strong basis from a claim of internal validity. And finally, please look at our book and EGAP Methods Guides for more details. Thank you for watching.